and I remember I told share with some of you some of you an experience I had with a colleague of mine in Cambridge, Massachusetts, when I was at Harvard University. There was a colleague of mine studying also there. And we were both discussing the spiritual subjects every day. Whenever we met, one day he called me. He said, I have found the way to stop thinking. And I have always said, you can never stop thinking. So there was a challenge to me. So I said, do you know how you do it? He said, yes, it's just a question of positioning yourself in a tight lotus position and then holding the mind where it is and then stop thinking for as long as you like. I said, wonderful. I'd like to learn it myself. So I invited him to my apartment and I said, let's see what happens to a human being when he's not thinking. It will be a great exercise. It will be great enhancement to my knowledge. I have never known this. Even till today, I can tell you, I haven't known what happens to a human being if he's really not thinking at all. So he got into tight lotus position and he closed his eyes. I said, do you, how long can you stop thinking? He said, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. I said, if you can stop thinking for one minute, I will feel you can stop at any time, forever. Just let's test for one minute only. And one minute will determine that you get into your shape for stop thinking. I'll give a clap like this. When you hear the clap, stop thinking. After one, I'll watch my watch. 60 seconds later, I will give you a second clap. You can start thinking. Then we will sit and examine what happened to your consciousness when you're not thinking. Must be something strange. Let's see. So he got into that position. I gave a clap and I looked at my watch. 60 seconds later, I gave a second clap and he was happy to come out and talk to me. I said, did you stop thinking for those 60 seconds? He said, yes. I said, when I gave the first clap, how did you know that was the time to stop thinking? I said, just recall, because we are going to examine what happened in those 60 seconds. What happened after I gave a clap like this and that you knew is a signal for stopping thinking? He recalled, yes, I did at that time after hearing the clock, clock say, now is the time to stop thinking. I said, that looks like a thought to me. He said, it's only two or three seconds. Let's cut the experience down. 57 seconds now. I said, after you said this to yourself, how did you know that when I give the second clap, you will start thinking again? I said, don't make a conjecture. Don't try to philosophize. Remember what actually happened. And he said, I actually remember after I said, now the time is to stop thinking. And when he claps again, I can start thinking again. I said, that looks like a thought to me also. I said, after that, what happened? Did you wait for the clap, second clap? How did you wait for it? He said, I remember I was tense at that time. In tension, in tension I said, in state, I said, I will now wait till I hear the second clap. Another thought. We had a conversation for about 10 minutes and he held his hands up. He said, oh my God, I thought more in these 60 seconds than ever before. Yet he did not know that he was thinking. So he said, how did it happen? How has it happened that I thought I was not thinking? And yet you have made me recall all the words that I actually used in thinking. I said, don't you know why it happened? He said, no. I said, I'll explain it to you what happened. Our mind does not only think in one channel, in one level. It thinks in several levels. You stop thinking in one level. And the mind was contemplating upon that thinking. It stopped with that words. A finer language was going on in your head, commenting, which you just remembered now. People say, 
when we do our meditation, we make the mind say our mantra. And the mind repeats the mantra. But when the mind is repeating the mantra, the mind is also thinking of other things. Sometimes it is commenting upon the mantra itself. You are going too fast, you are going too slow. Which is that mind? If the main mind is repeating certain words which you have induced into it, which is that mind which is also making a comment upon it? The mind functions in several layers of thoughts. So when you think you have stopped one layer, second layer opens up. When you think you have employed the mind in repetition of your mantra or simran, the mind can still be thinking and take you away. That's exactly what happens. People are doing their repetition and suddenly they find that they have been thinking of something else. Not from that point. Right from the moment they started doing simran or repetition of mantra. Because the mind can think in several levels. If you quieten the mind in one level, the second one opens up, third one opens up, fifth one opens up. I had the privilege to host His Holiness Dalai Lama from Tibet when he came. I was the collector deputy commissioner of Kangra district in Dharamsala. So this government decided to put him there. So he became a good friend and we would go. I had a nice Land Rover given to me by my government and we used to go and discuss things. He first learned how to speak English at that time or Hindi and English both. So we would discuss meditation because he realized that he had two senior gurus with him, two teachers who trained him in meditation and they came with him when he came from Tibet and they were teaching him how to do meditation and he realized that he could not hold to the Buddhist mantra, which he repeated. I repeated with him, Om Mani Padme Hon, Om Mani Padme Hon. The mind is still thinking something else. He saw it, made two voices combine to avoid mind going out. Now the mind is saying the same words, two voices. Third voice opened up. Fourth, I have noticed, I met many yogis with whom I have experimented this very thing about thinking and they can find very finer and finer voice of the mind up to fifth, fifth level. The Rai Lama could go up to eighth level. And I realized that how much he's been in, going inwards to discover how the mind works. So the mind never stops thinking. It will die if it stops thinking. If the mind dies, the astral self and the body also die. Therefore, it's like the heartbeat of the mind, the thinking. So the mind, since it's always thinking, it's the creative power of the mind is expressed in thoughts. So therefore, what we think at different levels in the mind is what is created outside. 